If you're anything like me, then you've spent a significant portion of your life building your entire personality around the pursuit and capture of Spring Reverb. Well, good news because that's exactly what I'm featuring in this video. And you're gonna wanna stay tuned because I'm gonna give one away. What I'm holding in my hand is the box for the Crazy Tube Circuits White Whale version two. I actually covered the version one on this channel years ago. I think the background in here might've been painted gray at that time. I can be able to get this open. <laughs> this is how you can tell that an unboxing video is authentic. Is <laughs> I don't know how to open the box. It has a sleeve on it. There we go. All right, now it's opening. So if I remember correctly, the white whale was a spring reverb and a tremolo. And I have a feeling that's what's going on here, but it's a new version. It's version two. Look at that. That is a great big pedal. Obviously anything that's got a real spring in it is going to be a great big pedal, but look at that. It's thick too. That's a big boy. I can tell there's more going on right off the bat. I'm seeing this push switch. I'm seeing more switches than I remember. I think it only had six knobs before. I want to find a picture real quick of the original version. Yep, only six knobs and two switches on the original. So we've got a pre and a post switch here. I don't think it had that before. And we've got a three-way switch for the trim style selection and a three-way switch for the reverb style selection, where I'm pretty sure those were just two ways before. Still got the reverb expression and trim expression and then a remote switch. I'll have to read the manual to figure out what that's all about. We've got a reverb switch and a tremolo switch there. Mix, volume, dwell, and tone, volume, speed, and intensity, a Hard and soft option for the harmonic trim, tube, optical, and harmonic on that pre and post, like I mentioned, that's really fun. Put your trim before or after your reverb. I'm gonna brush up on the manual, then I'll plug it in and we'll get started. White Whale is an all analog true spring reverb and tremolo pedal small enough to fit on your pedal board. In this reimagined second version, we have upgraded the power amp section, driving the reverb tank assembly for more headroom and drip, resulting in bigger reverb sounds. Well, that sounds exciting. Sounds like it's right up my alley anyways. Also, I did a little peek further into the manual and it told me that this remote jack is for plugging in like a two button amp switch. And then you can control this pedal from across the room remotely. Say you've got this locked up in a rack unit or something like that, or you're doing studio work with it and you need to be able to control it from somewhere else, there is an option to do that. So anyways, I'm gonna start off with my Fender Player Plus Strat here. It is a workhorse for me, humbucker in the bridge, noiseless single coils in the neck and middle, makes a great pedal demo guitar. And of course, I'm gonna be running into the two Princeton's rig. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna scoot over to the side a little bit to give more screen space to the white whale. Also, I've got the Falcon Drive set up as a dirt pedal before the white whale, just in case I need some dirt. I'm gonna need some dirt, right? I mean, that's a given. So anyways, here we go. Here is my dry signal. Check this thing out. Reverb or tremolo first? Reverb or tremolo? It's gonna be reverb. You know it's gonna be reverb. All the knobs are all the way down, so let's take them up to noon. I like the color on this new version. I love, you know, obviously, I'm gonna love this color. Yeah, the, uh, the old one was red. All right, we've got a switch here going from long, short to medium. Let's start on medium. Why not, right? Let's give ourselves some room to grow here. You 
you can hear the spring. You can hear that like physical nature of it kind of bouncing around. There's a little bit of like an echo happening. Check out the range of some of these controls. This is a volume control. Does what it says. Uh, dwell. That is the length of the trail. I can tell this isn't going to have that traditional kind of like Fender outboard 6G15 spring drip to it. Not that it needs to. There can be different types of reverbs in the world, guys. But it, it has its own response to it. This all comes from a combination of the, the pan model and the circuit that they've designed. Cool. I do like that. It's not that it doesn't drip. It's this, it's a different flavor of drip. It's it's it's. I'm trying to find the adjectives. Do you have adjectives for it? Drop them in the comment section. Let's leave that pretty high for explorative purposes. I haven't even touched the mix yet. Try that on the humbucker setting. mix, isn't it? Let's pull the dwell back. having a good time over here. All right, the tone control. I'm assuming right gets bright. Sounds like it. How do I 
describe that drip? It has its own personality. It's like a like a like a Fender outboard reverb unit, a 6G15, has that kind of like like drippy faucet sort of drip, where this is more like hitting a trash can with a golf club in a, in like a metal barn, <laughs> in a grain silo. Like it has that metallic, but very textural sort of reverberation versus that very liquid, like, let's see if the mic will pick that up. You ever do that trick? When you're a kid, I still do it. I'm an adult. <laughs> All right, let's dial it back a little bit. You know what? No, no. Let's check out the short setting and the long setting versus the medium. Let's do it on the neck pickup. So that's been the medium. Here is the short. to the medium and now to the long oh yeah that gets even bigger back that tone. I didn't even finish exploring the tone, did I? That's dreamy. smoother really dialed back that like hyper metallic sort of sound that I was describing earlier because I had the tone all the way up because I'm a lunatic apparently that's probably right around where I'd live I guess it depends on what I'm doing though. If I'm going for like a surfy sort of sound, somewhere around there, noon to one or something. sort of thing. Let's pull it back a bit. Bring in some dirt. Thank you. 
I got a little lost in the moment there. I was just having fun and lost track of time and space and everything I was doing in pursuit of the white whale. All right, now for the trim side. Maybe I should dial in the reverb that I want to show that off. I want a long trail on there to show off that trim, right? All right, here we go. Tremolo Town. We've got a volume control, which is great to have on a trim, by the way. Intensity. Oh, it's going real slow because the speed is all the way down. So right now it's set to pre, let's put it to post. There we go. We're on optical, let's set it to tube. feeling trend. Plenty fast enough. Loss of intensity on tap too. setting. Almost a square wave on the optical. And then harmonic. I don't know. We were on soft. Now we're on the hard setting on the harmonic. It has like a almost a vibrato thing going on. I know it's it's not vibrato at all because it's not doing anything to the pitch, but just the the movement of it. It's almost like a rotary in a way. It's a nice sounding harmonic trim. Preposition. Now, normally I 
would never run a trim before a reverb because I want to have my guitar's dynamics really slamming into that reverb and a trim before the reverb will interrupt those dynamics. So I'm not one of those people who runs things that way, but let's find out what happened. <laughs> It does have a nice smoothing effect to it. It's moodier, isn't it? Nuts! It is a cool sound, whether you would run your pedal board that way or not. Like, <laughs> that is pretty fun. Let's try it on the optical setting, get off of this harmonic stuff. Let's try it in post to see the difference. Tube setting. You could do that. I don't know why you'd go so slow with such intensity. <laughs> Let's check out the expression stuff now. We'll start with the reverb expression, just to show what that does. I think it controls the mix. Let's find out before I get started. It controls the reverb's mix, and when plugged into the trim side, it controls the rate. Not a huge surprise. Standard things to control. Let's get this on the floor where it belongs. You're not going to be able to see it, but you can hear it, right? 
max it out. Because why not? That's on the heel. It still lets a bit of reverb through. Here it is, all the way up. try it on that tremolo expression. All right, I think the deal is you set your normal speed to the heel position. Do it on tube. With a generous slab of reverb to help it along. expression pedal. Every expression pedal acts a little bit differently. I'll have a link to this expression pedal down in the description. It's a Moog or Moog one. It does have a little dial on the side where I could pull back the peak if I wanted to for a smoother transition to the toe. Oh, I think it might like the base six.
sitting here jamming on the bass six for like 40 minutes or something like that. Who knows what's going to make the cut, but I, I've been having a great time. Oh man, I got, I got shivers right now and goosebumps. <sighs> oh, that's fun. That's That sounds really great with the bass six. Bass six, baritone, regular bass. I have a feeling this might be like the spring reverb and trim to pair with low strung instruments like that. Jeez. All right, you wanna win one? I bet you do. I mean, this is gonna be expired if you watch this more than a week past this video launching. But for all you hoop jumpers out there, and you know who you are because you've been watching this channel, you've been seeing the other giveaways that I do, uh, you know what to do. But the rest of you who aren't hoop jumpers, uh, there's a link in the description and the pinned comment, and that takes you to a website called King Sumo. And I have it set up, so you'll have to jump through some hoops. Not too many on this one. I'm gonna send you to their website, any social medias that uh, that Crazy Tube Circuits has, and uh, maybe one or two other little things, maybe other guitars and things like that that were in this video. You enter in your email address, you click those links, and each link increases your odds of winning. And in a week, the winner will be notified via email. And then Crazy Tube Circus will send you one of these. Don't you want one of these? I know that you do. So click the link and do the stuff unless you can't be bothered. That's fine too. So what do you think though? White Whale version two by Crazy Tube Circuits. It's got more knobs. Well, it's got one more knob. <laughs> it's got more switches. It's got another in and out. I didn't get into that, but uh, it seems self-explanatory. It's got all the same great sounds from the last one, but it also sounds like maybe they're pushing that preamp harder, getting more saturation, more trails, more drip and clang and splash out of that spring. Did I crash it? I don't think I crashed it. Let's make sure it crashes. It crashes. That's how you know. But I want to know what you think about this pedal down in the comments section. Click the links, obviously. Best of luck to you. I hope you win. I hope you. Not everyone else. I'm pointing at you specifically. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me a rude, nasty comment, support us on Patreon, buy a shirt if you're naked, and stay grounded. Bye, everybody.